I'm convinced Sly Cooper 5 is going to announce pretty soon guys because for the last decade Sony has been neglecting one of their biggest IPs of all time and out of nowhere they just ended up porting Sly Cooper to the PS5 for this month's PlayStation Plus. That's right after 22 years Sony is finally showing love to fans of the Sly Cooper franchise and I'm convinced it all starts with this. By now we all know the process they're going to start bringing over all of the Sly Cooper games to the PS5 1 through 4 and then announce a new game soon. We just know the next chapter to Sly Cooper starts with this. Getting old and new fans back into the games with simple backwards compatibility promos. Once Sony ends off with Thieves in Time, that's when things are going to get interesting. The fifth game will either be a complete remake to the series or a continuation as a reboot, kind of like what they did with Ratchet and Clank, catered to new gen, but while sustaining that same feel the old games had to offer. I'm happy to see this because Sly Cooper was one of the greats. For those of you who don't know, the Sly Cooper games back in the PS3 days were up there alongside Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, and even Crash and Spyro. Sad to see everything else get brought over to new gen and be given a new opportunity and Sly Cooper get casted into the shadows just because of the poor choices by the studio behind the game, Sucker Punch Studios. And while they do have their reasons, they pretty much said that they're preoccupied with bigger projects that garnered more attention and success like Ghost of Tsushima. As their games continue to grow in scale and complexity, they require the full attention of our studio. With our focus on our current project, we have no plans to revisit visit Infamous or Sly Cooper right now, and no other studio is currently working on projects related to those franchises either. These characters are very special and near dear to our hearts, so while they'll never say never to reopening those doors later down the road, for now there are no Infamous or Sly Cooper games in development. What a missed opportunity, even releasing a trilogy would be an absolute moneymaker, but at least they were being transparent with us when they released this statement last year. But as for this year, it seems Sucker Punch is realizing they haven't been able to give the Sly Cooper games the love it deserves. It seems like now they're down to revisiting their old projects because they're done with their new ones. A year ago, due to Sucker Punch's statement, everyone believed Sly Cooper 5 was cancelled for sure, but this port of the first game out of nowhere is giving fans new hope for a new game, and I think it's gonna happen. Of course, this doesn't really officially confirm the fifth game is happening, but it does make it a big possibility. I mean, we've seen this all before, and it's like I said, it all starts with this. This is the process devs always do. They get the old titles on the newest platform, try to revive the community, while bringing back old fans as well as introduce the games to new people and then finishing that new project they've been postponing all these years. Sucker Punch has cancelled enough games we can agree on that. I hope they announce the fifth game soon because this is something people have been waiting ages for and it's clear Sony is trying to revisit mascot IPs. They renewed Daxter, Sly, Astrobot, and more in just a short amount of time. A new PS2 emulator is available on the PS4 and 5. More PS3 games rumored to be coming to the PS5 too and Sony just really wants to focus on that PS Classics output right now. Giving less focus on live service plans this month, Sly Cooper just became available on the PlayStation Store and it's the biggest PS Classics game launch now. It's completely taken over the store category and it's only been up for a few days. Just goes to show that the hype is here and people want more. After this, there's no way PlayStation would just stand by and allow Sucker Punch to continue to neglect one of their biggest classics. They're going to pressure him to give us the same treatment as other legends like Crash, Spyro, and Ratchet and Clank. I know I keep mentioning the same three games, but their games pretty much fall into the same category. It's just frustrating not seeing these developers push out more content after all this time. Yes, Sucker Punch said it was because they were focusing on their newer stuff. Makes sense to move on to work on bigger projects, not just focus on the old stuff. But eventually, especially in the gaming industry, you have to because nostalgia is profitable. And clearly, Sony is late to understanding that the way Xbox does. But the time is now. They're starting to see the potential their retro games hold. And after this, they're going to bring over more Sly Cooper games and force Sucker Punch games into giving them Sly Cooper 5. Whether it be a remake of one of the olds or the new game we've all been waiting decades for. Despite this, this move was great news. Finally, something's happening or happened, I should say. I guess the franchise isn't entirely dead yet, guys. Thank you, PlayStation. I'm definitely going to give this game a shot, so make sure you're following me on my Twitch. Look in the description. I never got to beat this game as a kid because my cousin hardly let me touch his PS2, but now I can because now we have adult money. And when I heard Daxter came out, I couldn't believe my eyes. I'm praying Jack and Daxter get some love soon, too. No more decade long cliffhangers anyways just want to speak on this if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like subscribe for more and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out stay blue